Um, thank you, GLAD. Thank you. Thank you for putting me in a room with Britney Spears. This means a lot to me for a couple of reasons. Um, first, I'm currently working on putting together a movie that I desperately want Britney to be in. And I consider this the first step in my charm offensive to get her in it. Um, I won't bother her tonight, but Brittany, my people will be calling. <clears throat> but secondly, I'm excited to be in a room with Brittany because, okay, back when I was auditioning for grad schools, this is for acting, which was a very important step for me getting a career going. Um, this is back in the 90s. And Brittany's Baby One More Time was all over the radio and the video was all over TV. And I have this distinct memory of being in New York waiting to audition for all of these important schools. And I was ready, and I was eager, but I was oh so nervous. And I remember being in this hotel room or wherever I was staying, and Britney's video for Baby One More Time came on the TV. And I remember, I mean this, watching her dance walk down that school hallway in that Catholic school uniform <laughs> with those cute little pigtails, and I remember feeling this sense of just, oh, yeah, that's it. That just, do it. You go out there and you do it like Britney and you get it. And not kidding. And I got into a good grad school. And I don't know why Britney's song and specifically that video was such an inspiration and a trigger point for me. Um, I think that says a lot about me and my inner life that I shouldn't be sharing with a big group. But I do think this too is important not to question those points of inspiration when they hit you, you just thank them. And so thank you, Britney. Something like that, I mean, unbelievable. I want to also talk for a moment about this award and more specifically about this award's namesake, uh, Stephen F. Kolzak. Stephen F. Kolzak worked in casting and talent at Columbia Pictures Television. In 1984, Stephen received an award from the Casting Society of America for the work he'd done on the television series Cheers. And I would hope that Stephen felt very proud and deservedly so for this recognition by his peers. However, as important as Stephen's work in his chosen profession may have been, as impactful as his work in casting a classic TV show like Cheers may have been in all of our lives, and let's not lie, it did make an impact, it would be Stephen's work that started in 1987 with his diagnosis with HIV that would make the biggest impact of all. I was 14 years old in Houston, Texas, when Stephen began his crusade in Los Angeles, California, to raise awareness in the entertainment industry about the discrimination faced by LGBTQ people, as well as people living with HIV. While I, as an adolescent, was being shown an image of homosexuality from the news on the TV that painted being gay as a death sentence, Stephen was hard at work trying to counter that image. And a large part of that process was him showing his face and showing up at marches and protests, claiming both his sexuality and his HIV positive status. I give this too brief biography of Stephen F. Kolzak, not in order to sound like a cheap version of Wikipedia, nor to necessarily give all of you information that many of you probably know. Rather, I recount parts of Stephen's life so that I may better understand the man whose name comes with this particular honor that I humbly accept tonight. A man whose name that I have to admit I had never heard until I was informed that I would be receiving it. It is an irony, if not quite a sad irony, that I am free to live openly as a gay man working in Hollywood today without even having to know about Stephen and those like him for the very reason that these people did fight, struggle, and make ripples that turned into waves of progress that I surf on today. Mm -hmm. 